Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for another video blog. So you're gonna notice a change here today, which is making my videos a little bit shorter. So you can watch the whole thing, not feeling it's taking a big chunk of your day. And I also wanna keep it simple so you can apply one or two strategies right away in your life or help somebody else to uh, use this strategy to improve their lives. So let's talk about self-esteem today. And self-esteem is a very important topic when it comes to create a life of happiness and success. It's important because it's pretty impossible to create a life um, of contentment and happiness and success if your self-esteem is low. You just watch in your life of somebody you might know that doesn't have a great relationship with the self or has low levels of self-esteem. And that comes from the self-limiting belief of I am not good enough. And I call self-limiting belief because it's something that we all had growing up. And the truth is, as an adult, as I talk about on my last video, that we are responsible for our lives. We're responsible for our thoughts, patterns and behaviors and emotions. We can learn, develop any skill that we want to. And we have the, the power to show up in high levels of excellence. And that's what I want to talk about here. A great strategy that will boost self-esteem is our commitment to excellence. It's a commitment to be excellent in your work. It's a commitment to excellence in the way you engage with people. You're fully present. You're, you're listening. It's your level of excellence with the tasks you're doing in front of you. It's your level of excellence as a father, as a mother, as a friend, as with anything you do in your life, even with your levels of health and fitness, with your eating, is just showing up in the highest possible levels. And that's excellence. So the opposite of excellence I call mediocrity. So mediocrity, it's when you do something in your life and your levels of energy are very low, you distracted, you... Um, have no enthusiasm or passion, that's mediocrity. And that robs happiness. That robs health and energy out of our lives. So um, I don't know a lot of people who are living this level of mediocrity, but I know people who are living in this area in between mediocrity and excellence, which is average. If you're just doing things at an average level, I invite you here to investigate those areas and to figure out what new habits you can develop that's gonna take you to a level of excellence. And it doesn't have to be hard. It's just like what kind of practices you can start incorporating in your day that would sharpen your brain, that will make you more clear. How, uh, is there anything you can change on your eating and your exercise routine that will give you high levels of energy? Because the truth is, we can only show up with, with, with excellence if our energy is present. And we have no shortage of energy. Energy is something we can constantly generate and you can see a lot of my video blogs in the top of, of energy. But excellence, it's a great remedy to boost self-esteem. So it's December, it's a great time to evaluate your year, evaluate areas of your life that you have room to take to the next level, to show up with excellence. I must share with you that since I committed to excellence, um, I have no issues with self-esteem and I grew up with issues of self-esteem, like I'm not smart enough, I don't have a good relationship with money, I'm not good with money, and all those self-limiting beliefs have dissolved since I committed to excellence. And my practices of excellence are constantly reading, studying, um, showing up to my clients with my highest levels of energy, and just commit to be my best self. So that's my tip of the day. Thanks for watching. Share this with your family and friends. Um, write your comments below. If you have any question, I would love to connect with you. Have a great week.